Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. SFW was a movie, or uh, you know, give us a movie poster or some kind of intro, something to get us all wound up and excited about it. <clears throat> and uh, this was the winner, and it, the guy also put together a thingy that should be, I believe, on the front page of iTunes tomorrow is what we were told. So check this out. All right, guys, and with that in mind, here's the thing. Justin and I are going to disappear, but we have a fantastic opening act. You guys are going to have a freaking blast. Make some insane noises for the fabulous, the incredibly funny, and the supremely talented George Robb. Do, do, do. Yeah, cool. Hello, Dragon Con. Uh, wow. <laughs> Sweet. Some girls are born with looks to kill. Some girls are born with intimate skills. Some girls are just concerned with fun. Some girls are like an SNL skit at a quarter to one. What I need is a two-sided coin. She better satisfy my brain as well as my loins. She better have a tight dress and have a mind that's strong. I want brains and a body. Is that so wrong? When she shows me her brain cells, then my pride suddenly swells like a Botticelli chick. She's on the half shell, but she likes getting nasty like Tori Wells. I said brains, body both. Brains, body both. Brains, body both. It's scary, a dictionary. It's very good to try to retain and impress But I also don't mind a vinyl dress When she's watching Jeopardy, she never has to guess You may ask why I'm specific Well, a dumb girl's effect is soporific I need brains and a bod that are both terrific Like a domain name that's case-specific She's the queen of conversation A panel member on Face the Nation But she gets on all fours without hesitation And she's got the best seat without a reservation Ha! I said brains, body bowl Brains, body, both. Brains, body, both. She drinks Perrier. She reads Baudelaire. I like to smell her hair and her underwear. Cause her derriere goes from here to there. She's like two floor toms, rat right? kick and snare. She goes to museums like Whitney to learn about the pigment at the installation. She also knows S. Morgan Stern is a figment of imagination. She always puts Horace before Descartes. She can make a point like George Surratt. She can choke the chicken like Julia Child. And she knows how to make my Oscar Wilde. <laughs> I said she brains, body both. Brains, body both. Brains, body both. She's got brains and a brick house bod to behold. She knows Effie's iron and AU's gold. She's got the origami hands that can flex and fold. Love for sale, I'm sold, I'm sold. Boys, don't be afraid of a high IQ. A girl with smarts knows what to do. She reads Masters and Johnson and Kinsey too. Do I lie? It's true, it's true. Brains, body both. Brains, body, both. Brains, body, both. 
You better know who the hell is Eddie Jobson and have a Brit wit like Emma Thompson. You can use irony to cut and slay. You can have the chunky glasses like Tina Fey. You better like films by Kurosawa. You better stay naked outside the shower. Better ding, dang, dingle for over an hour than calculate binomials to the tenth power. So sexy. Ah, I said brains, body both. Brains, body both. She can make my wick stick out of my candle. She knows which one's hiding and which one is handle. So honey, put on a dress that barely fits. And then shake your ass. And show me your wits. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the NSFW Show. Show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber Dance. I'm your host, Brian Bushwood. Joined as always by my inimitable co host, the one, the only, Justin Robert Rubles the third was up, Professor JRY. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Dragon God, make some noise! <laughs> I almost blacked out. Right now. I believe you, I dude. I'm very close to doing that, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the Dharma Initiative non-alcoholic beverages you've been drinking all night. No. No. It hasn't. <laughs> all right, look. Who are, we, are you? Are we I this? want to know where the guests are. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce them. You know him from Tech News Today, Sword and Laser, and 70,000 other podcasts. He's doing three podcasts right now, backstage. Tom Marin. Woo! Did you just bring out a thing of candy? Did you bring a bowl of candy? That was very thoughtful those, of you. Those, hey, those we, are the ones Doc Hammer didn't eat of the Quizzatron. Oh, yeah. my God. Hey, uh, by the way, we're also joined by the very lovely and talented host of Techzilla on the Revision 3 Network. Let's make some crazy noise for Miss Veronica Belmont. Yeah. Uh, quick question. How many of you guys saw the show last year? Hands in the air. All right, that's good. So you have an idea that is completely unprofessional, everything is completely stupid, uh, but we're going to have a freaking blast. Uh, what do we got on today's agenda, Professor J or Y? Uh, well, number one, I'm going to change my name to J or Y first. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Which you. I have to file legally. Yeah, for those of you guys playing NSFW Bingo, go ahead and put Mushmouth Brian. Just check <laughs> one on there. I hate you guys. Uh, all right, we are going to play, we're going to bring back one of our favorite games from last year's uh, Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon 1, which is Dragon Con Cosplay Thunderdome. <laughs> also, we're going to play a little game called Dragon Con Dream Date, featuring the lovely Veronica Belmont. By the way, I assume that Veronica has no idea what's about to happen. That she's just like, that's, that's the face, that, that, that coy, like, mmm, rubbing the chin means, oh, you assholes are going to get it later. <laughs> <laughs> also, yet another song from the insanely talented George Robb and a very, very, very special mystery guest. Ooh. <laughs> but first, <laughs> let's start with Dragon Con Cosplay Thunderdome. If you're in a costume right now, stand up. Yeah, we want to see all the costumes. All right, first of all, everybody. Oh, wow, I recognize a lot of these. Oh, my God. Uh, two of these people who are cosplaying are characters that we invented. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right now, that is uh, old John Smokey uh, and his world-famous spoons. <laughs> give, uh, give a round of applause. As well as uh, Officer Spiro uh, from the Weird Things podcast. All right, who else we got? Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, John, do me a favor. Spin around this other camera here. Let's see what else we got out there. Uh, I also spot... And here's what's going to happen. Is, is The four of us are each going each to pick one champion. Holy crap, that is easily the best red skull I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, so each, each one of us are going to select our champion, and we will pit them against each other one by one until uh, there is only one remaining. Brian? I, 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 hold on, I'm still looking. I, is, is Turd Ferguson in the audience? Because that was the best costume, and if you're not wearing it, you're a dick. Well, way to make... 
Way to make everybody else who's standing up and here feel really crappy about themselves, Brian. All right, no, uh, there's no turn for anything. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my boy Red Skelly. Get on up here, Red Skelton. Uh, Brian, it's it's Red Skull. Red no, Skeleton it's, it's, was the comedian. It's, no, it's Red Skelton. He's he's clearly doing mime. Do, do the do the. You see? That's Red Skelton. I told you. <laughs> All right, who do you got? Uh, you want to know what? I was I was almost going to go with Zombie Captain America. I think anybody else would be lucky to have him. However, I'm going to have to go with my boy Link. Come oh. on up, Link. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did he take a moment to level up before he came over here? He did. <laughs> Tom, All right, Tom, what do you got? Well, I, gotta, I, I swear gotta... to God, if you pick mine, I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear. I'm, now gonna... I'm trying to guess. Sorry, skeptic track. I swear to fl <laughs> flying spaghetti monster. Yes. <laughs> if you pick mine, I will kill you. Uh, well, I just want to point out you didn't create old John Smokey. I mean, he's a legendary blues musician. You, you he know. is. He is. And he's world famous Bones. Please, everybody, download Baba Didn't Raise No Weasel on this iTunes. Is, this is a, <laughs> a fantastic costume, but um, I got to go with Wheatley. And uh, oh. Portal 2. Yeah! Oh, my gosh. Now, I, I don't know if this, is, if this is an offense, because he doesn't e actually even want Shell. He wants just Wheatley. So, yeah, yeah Shell has to hold no, no, Wheatley, Shell, I, I, but that's I, I, how it's going to be. Say, Shell and Wheatley, yes, yes. Uh, Veronica, do you want to kill Tom? No, actually, though, there may be some kind of conflict, though, because I was going to pick Hawk from Dragon Age uh -huh. over there. And they were standing next to each other, so... Put that on there. Oh. There you go. Oh, they're married! Oh. Ah. So everybody process that mental image real quick. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now here's the thing. Last year, we actually had Veronica play the judge. Everyone else sit down. Let's have a huge round of applause for all, all right, the kick-ass costumes. So last year, we went ahead and had Veronica be the judge for our contest. But since you're actually a competitor this time, we're going to have to go by round of applause. We're going to make our case. First of all, with the semifinals, I say we start with this side right over here. And we just pair up right against, we got Red, red Skeleton. Red Skeleton. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. He's going to go from here. He's Hold playing on. the Chitlin <laughs> song. Yes. He's coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> red Skeleton. I have to say how creepy it is when his little tongue comes out of, like, the slot in his mask. It's like, oh my God. the most horrifying thing. I've ever seen him. Oh, God. yeah. And now, and now, everybody, please process that mental image. <laughs> All right. So, so who, who wants to step up against my boy Red Skelton? Uh, but no, we'll just go closest in. So Wheatley and Shell versus oh, uh, Tourette Skull. Yeah, yes. That's good. Yeah. You know what? I'd like to call him Tourette Skull from now on, <laughs> <laughs> where he's just got that vulgar ability to flicker his tongue. <laughs> Did All right, just... so you guys, come on, come on to the phone. Yeah, on. here we go. Step hey, into the pit. Shell and Wheatley, come on over here. Right. All the way in, all the way in. Get on camera. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. All right, here we go. Let me get you guys to step all the way over to the right here so you guys can be seen on camera. See that yeah. little camera right there? Just get to it. There we go. All right, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. There you go. You can see yourselves, yeah. All right. I, you know what? I'm going to let I'm gonna let Miss Veronica go ahead and make her case. What do you? Uh, what, what's so great about Shell and Wheatley? No, 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 no. That's, that's Tom. It's not one of my. my yeah, but I want Veronica to give the case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So well, anyway, talk about why Red Skeleton is going to lose. <laughs> it's it's going the Red Skull. Um. Well. No. No, well, no, 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 no I'm not no, serious. No, no. It's Tom's pick. Tom. Yes. Tom. Go ahead. Tom's explain. To cover right. for himself. Learn your own game, guys. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm confused. Do you want Felicia Day to do the next pick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only you knew how much that pissed her off. <clears throat> I mean Felicia Day. She hates being associated with this show. Yeah, rightfully so. Uh, no, I mean, Portal 2, in my opinion, best game that came out this year. Uh, and uh, an, an incredible franchise. Uh, so fun to play. Incredible uh, meme generator. And look at that Wheatley. I mean... You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great costume top to bottom, but the Wheatley is the cherry on top of the cake. I mean, Big, that, bushy hair, yeah. big teeth. Look at that Wheatley. Uh, My producer, Kara Tates, is telling me that's uh, not Wheatley at all. It may, in fact, be a butterfly. Yeah. Uh, but all right, uh, Tom, if I might ask, how specifically would Wheatley defeat Red Skull? Uh, well, uh, Wheatley can blow up the entire uh, Aperture Science Laboratories uh, while Red Skull... 
<laughs> Red Skelton. <laughs> Red Skelton. <laughs> well, Red Skelton. Well, Red Fox. Exercise. Is, uh, Calling his son a big dummy. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, a, he's trapped inside, so done. Yeah, easy. Uh, look, your honor, ladies and gentlemen of the witness. Oh, my God. You're going to go to the Southern lawyer this early? <laughs> I, I was not aware I was doing a Southern lawyer voice. But apparently, being from Texas, I cannot help it. So, your honor, <laughs> I am but a simple Southern gentleman. <laughs> he got disbarred. <laughs> he's no longer a southern lawyer now he's just a southern gentleman <laughs> yes. uh, but I know an incredible costume when I see it did you see the Captain America picture show this, this latest uh, summertime <laughs> right, you know there's no judge he just right? laughed at you for like well, they, they are making, the judge. Yeah, no, I'm asking, He's yeah, yeah. To ask yourself, yourself, yes. Everybody, uh, one by one. Do you see Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Do you see Captain America? Right. I liked it. Of course, uh, if he says, ladies what? and gentlemen of the jury, it might get confusing. Okay, exactly. so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Multiple personalities. Here's the thing. Uh, Captain America was a freaking multi-million dollar extravaganza that cost a whole lot of money, and they got the world's finest costume makers. Objection. <laughs> Overruled. Thank you. And, and pretty much, this is exactly what they came up with. This thing is freaking picture perfect, note solid, plus also, watch him dance. Now, go. Yeah. <laughs> the case. Yeah, rests. back it up. Back that ass up. Yeah. Holy moly, Hydra's ham. Look how he knows where the bear is. Yeah. He would... <laughs> Good. That's the sequel to Captain America, is both, Hydra's Hams. I think both contestants should have an opportunity to dance then. <laughs> Wheatley? Will you? Hold on, yeah. hold on. Am She's I going to have to... Uh, Wheatley? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Here, you have to dance to the... To, uh, <laughs> wait, no, not that. Here we go. I'm trying to find... Uh, uh, this is really going well. I know, here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, here, the problem is, is that I'm not attached to... There we go. Go. Rock that. All right, folks. All right, that's not bad. If you could list the things that you thought you might have seen tonight at the live NSFW show, I bet you nobody on your list had C. Wheatley Crump. <laughs> Check I rest that my one case. off the bucket list. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, you decide Weedley and Shell. <laughs> all right, or is it legendary entertainer Red Skeleton? <laughs> This crowd. Uh, Wheatley and Shell, GTFO. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even think to have that thing open. I'm gonna have to find that thing what now. Uh, all right, uh, Red Skeleton, please uh, await your competitor, Link and Dragon yeah. Age. Step up. All right. Where's your sword? On this side. On this side. All right. Here we go. No, no, no. That's fine. It's fine. Right here. Where they were. There we go. Hold on. I'm trying to find. Uh, a little little blast from the past. If we're gonna do this, we gotta do this right. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Everybody. Everybody, be cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, just so everybody can hear it live. G Tony. -F there we go. That's and by the way, Tony, edit this out. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Veronica. Would you like to make your case? All right. Well, not only can Hawk be either male or female, he is currently in his male incarnation this evening, he can whip Link's ass not only as a rogue, a warrior, and a mage, but, I mean, come on, look at him. He's freaking badass. Right? Right? He doesn't need no freaking ocarina to get done. He just destroys everything. That's all. <laughs> No, it's not a good look for you. Stick with the sword. Okay. All right. This is, by the way, I've never seen Justin like this nervous going into it. Like, I was watching Justin and he's just like, you know, she kind of has a point. 
<laughs> yes, I, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna. I, right now, I'm betting all you have is, guys, it's Link. <laughs> Don't yeah. let nostalgia get the best of you. Come on, that's a weak uh, point. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> um, all right. Number one, everything you said is true. <laughs> I acknowledge that. He's However, also, he's also cross-platform. <laughs> oh yes! Wow! Get back in, get back in there. Come on, okay. buddy, you can do I this. Rock it. Cross-platform in this audience is a cutting insult. <laughs> It's like calling my mom the C word. <laughs> uh, Commodore? Yes. <laughs> Old Commodore jury, they Listen, called her. <laughs> how many times have we seen the same story? Impossible evil faces a boy who cannot barely catch a chicken when he leaves his house, only to have an epic journey, acquire a master sword, Find a fairy. <laughs> Several fairies. <laughs> and get it done. This man is not only a proven winner, a proven world beater, a man who can ride a horse, but he's gonna play the ocarina while this man is bloodied and beaten under his boot. Hyrule's own Link is our champion. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, that was a very impassioned speech, and clearly Link is feeling the buzz right now, but it's not up to any of us, it's up to the chat realm out there. Here's the thing, party people, do me a favor, make some noise if our winner is Link. All right. Get it down! Do we need to re-vote now? Wow. Oh, God! Oh, whoa! Several fairies. <laughs> I, I just... For those of you who didn't see, Link just got his ham grabbed by Red Skull. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, wow. <laughs> by the way, who knew that this was going to turn into a sultry dance off? <laughs> what? I'll tell you what, the, what blows me away is why did he wait till after the vote to kind of cut loose? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. He gets it done. We've heard from Link. How about the guy from Dragon Age? Wait, did you just chicken out and taking your clothes off? <laughs> You're like, I'm it's sorry, the chain mail, it's okay. so complicated. Boo this man! Boo! Oh, hold on. Objection, objection. You don't get to lead the witness like that. And by the I'm, trying, I mean, I'm trying to uh, make time for him as he, he is, slowly is the he is. armor disrobing ever. Okay, all right, all right. All right, Look, the loading times are great, okay? okay? What do you want from me? All right, here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm uh, uh, already, uh, I, it sounded so, the same to me. It sounded the same to me on both sides. It was pretty damn, I was uh, watching the levels and they were almost yeah. identical. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give it to Tom Merritt. Since you no longer have a dog in the fight, I'm gonna make you pick. I, you know what, I think we, I think we need a re-vote. I, I think we need you, a time. Re -vote. Okay, I think right, we fine, need a runoff. Fine, fine. All right, one more time. First of all, what's the name of the guy for Dragon Age? Hawk! Hawk. All right. Asshole. That was uncalled for. Well, technically, you can pick his first name. Yeah, well, see, that's just it, because... I think the fact that you don't know his first name means Link wins. Uh, no, because... Well, look, in my... When I played, it was Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna reverse the order. Let's hear it if you choose Hawk. Check. All of you guys are dead to me. All of you, except you. You're okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it if you choose Link. All right, that's enough. That's enough. 
Wow. Wow. There's some very strong Boy. chat realm bias here. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm like... just saying, I'd hate to be the poor bastard who has the guy who has to go up against Link. Good job. I'm saying good. Good job. All right. Hey, yeah. Uh, no, thank you very much, Hawk. You were fantastic. Get out of here. Please get the hell out of here. All right, now we're down Man, to the That party. is going to be such a bitter car ride home. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh. Like, sweetheart, I told you, make quick release gauntlets. What the hell? <laughs> I looked like an asshole up there. What was with your dance, honey? <laughs> yeah, we had them. Okay, uh, so now we're down to the finals. Let's get our two finalists on up here. We've got, uh, I was about to say Rhett and Link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Link. All right. Brian. Wow, they are out of control. Uh, 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 and if it's, if, if it's okay with you, I would like to propose a bit of a, a change. Okay, since, uh, hold on. Just evolving with the since you just lost? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't yes. Yeah, no, please, by all means, he with all the momentum, propose a change. Okay. <laughs> Have a suck. <laughs> Uh, dance off. What? Dance off. It... Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> now I gotta. Wait, we gotta get some music. Wait, wait. Now I gotta find wait something for, for them to dance to. <laughs> that doesn't was... appear to be a problem for See, them. This is why. This is why. I just want them to get started. Uh, this is like, is it, I want it to be, and this just so you guys know uh, what, what the, the realm that you're competing in, uh, think as if uh, MTV's The Grind broke out in a comic book shop. Yeah. It's gonna All get right. freaky up in this bitch. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Link and Red Skelton. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think when when Link confusedly tried to mount the Red Skull, uh, uh, like confusedly, an awkward puppy, confusedly or exactly as planned, <laughs> it was called the Grind. And Link's Eric Nice. Uh, all right, look, it's up to you guys. You got to vote for is it the man who terrifies you in your dreams, somebody who can outdance, out crush, out defeat, and out costume Link? Or is it going to be the confused right, puppy? I okay, get no, this wait, 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 wait. Or is it not only the man who has kicked Ganon in the teeth seven times, but also <laughs> just shook his dingle on Red Skull's butt? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise if you pick Link. <laughs> Pretty heavy duty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise if you pick my boy, the Red Skeleton. <laughs> needs a little work, but plenty of enthusiasm. <laughs> Holy cow, let's have a huge round of applause for both of our volunteers. They kicked all kinds of ass. Make some noise. <laughs> and uh, as a prize, as a prize for the Red Skull, we have the one-of-a-kind Dharma Initiative non-alcoholic beverage. It's totally beer. Here you go, Red Skull. There you go. <laughs> there you uh, go. Meanwhile, both, Link... Both of you guys go get shirts. Yeah, Link. G-T-F-O. Love you, buddy. Get out of here. Let's have one more time for these guys. If I'm not mistaken, we got to pay some bills. We do. All right, next segment. <laughs> um, listen, we've all, we've all had the same problem, okay? You start coughing off mic. <laughs> I muted it. Nobody heard that. And now you sound dumb. Oh, no, I, I made them aware of it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, 
You want to, all right, so <laughs> you're stuck at Dragon Con and you just watched two uh, beloved icons of American culture grind on each other. <laughs> you're scarred. You you're have scarred. a broken soul. You're yes. in a bad way. This is clearly not healthy. Exactly. Thing. As Veronica Belmont slowly traces the outline of Wheatley, <laughs> uh, you need someone to share this with. Yes. Right? But here's the problem, though. You're not going to turn to your family. Well, no. You're, you're not going to turn to your friends. No, you they wouldn't. They don't care about you. Right. Nobody cares about you. Well, why are you... You live an empty life filled with sadness and regret, which okay. is why you fall asleep in your clothes drunk every night. But who... who... Crying. Who would listen to me? The internet will. The internet, of course, yes. But here's the problem. Look, I don't know anything about HTML. I'm afraid that my site would get uh, too popular and immediately crash. And uh, what I need is an easy way to put my thoughts online. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I always thought HTML was a Hispanic guy. <laughs> but I do know that Squarespace.com is the easiest possible way that you can set up a website. Well, for, what if I wanted to make a website that was nothing but an animated gif of Red Skull shaking his ass from this show? <laughs> BootyShakeRedSkull.Squarespace.com. Can I get that? Absolutely. In fact, you can get it absolutely for free. What? Right now, somebody in the crowd can register it on their iPhone. And, and they will. And it's free for two weeks. <laughs> they're, they're shouting about signal. Screw you guys. Yeah. The point Great is... way to maintain the illusion. The point is, Squarespace is the fast, easy way to host your blog portfolio or any kind of good-looking website. We love them. They make this show possible, and they don't mind when we make jokes about drug dealers and dead corpses in their <laughs> ad reads. So, do us a favor. Head on over to Squarespace.com. Open up your free two-week trial. Make sure to use code NSFW9. And then, um, uh, that's like a German going, no. Yes. <laughs> All right, what else you got for us? The Germans say no to Squarespace, but you say yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Hey, man, we got another game to play? Absolutely. Uh, who wants to play a little game of Dragon Con Dream Date? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's getting so sexy, people are leaving. <laughs> Take your boners elsewhere. Oh. We could have had so many good times together. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, sorry. You know, there's a bad time. I was jumping there's ahead. A... I jumped ahead. Uh, all right. Are you going to get friends? Uh, are they? Okay, good, good. Well, then um, take your boners back in when you're done. I'm Finding I'm friends. Sorry? Uh, we're going to have a game of uh, Dragon Con Dream Date featuring Veronica Belmont. So here's what we need uh, you to do, Veronica, is just take that seat. At, at the far end, you're going to look where? out that way. Yeah, where, where Wheatley, Wheatley can stand right next to you. Okay. He can be your bodyguard. Okay. And I can be your long lost pal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, we're gonna get her a beer so she, you know, it's a long journey down to the end of this table. I'm tired. All right. So meanwhile, for those of you, how many guys have seen that old show, uh, The Dating Game? Make noise. Yeah, uh, this is in no way affiliated with it. Uh, it does look extremely similar, although I would deny it in a court of law. That's, that's my daughter. That was fan art of my daughter. Sorry about that. Uh, awkward. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's a double complete rainbow all the way into my daughter's back, which you somehow made sexual. Why don't you go die in a fire? Uh, yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little game. It'll, it'll bear a strong resemblance to uh, the dating game, although we will deny it in a court of law. Uh, and uh, we got three volunteers here, right? We've, we've hand-selected three bachelors. Oh, God, I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and take it away for us, Mr. Justin Robert Young, as soon as you hear this music play that I finally got loaded up on the computer. There we go. Take it away, Justin. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Con Dream Day. I'm your host, Justin Robert Young, and tonight's Dragonette is the lovely Veronica Belmont. Give her a round of applause. Veronica is now blindfolded. Can we please have our three dragon... Three dragons. Our three dragons we come up to the stage. A dragon. There you go. Come on up here. We have four dragons. Four, four dragons. dragons. Four dragons. Come on up here. 
Have a seat. All right, you're going to introduce him here, Justin. Make sure not to give the real names, but go ahead and why don't you introduce Dragon Number One. Dragon Number One is a prolific science fiction author who not only enjoys space, but also football. Say hello to Dragon Number One. Dragon number two is another prolific artist. He of the song medium. His popular podcast is downloaded by thousands of happy fans. Let's give a round of applause to dragon number two. Three, three and four are, are a tag team. They're one, they're one, they're two, they're Voltron of podcast. <laughs> Double trouble for dragon number three. Two incredibly talented... Artist of a medium that I realize I can't talk about because it spoils the joke. <laughs> Everybody, please give a round of applause for Dragons number three. Hello. Now, Brian, I need you to fill because I forgot the cards. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Uh, and you know what's great is this is also the moment that I realized that I pressed stop, but it's still playing. So we're just going to rock the Little Spanish Flea song for the next three minutes. Unless I was dumb enough to leave it on repeat. <laughs> oh good, it's not on repeat. Thank God. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, here's what's going to happen. First of all, Veronica, do you have a microphone? Everyone have a microphone? Let me just hear a quick hello from everyone. Hello. Oh, don't use that red one. It's plugged into nothing. Why is... There we go. Everybody tap a mic, and then I'll pour beer on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bachelor number one will drink it. <laughs> there we go. Everybody say something in your mic real quick just so we can make sure we're on the same page here. Okay. Hello. There we go. That's one. Check one, two, man. There you go. And more beer. And then that, the red one is... Oh, I was wrong. Hello. Got a lot to hold. All right, there we go. Awesome. All right, Justin. Tony will edit all this out. You don't get a mic. Here, why don't you come over? Here, you come over and you can just take this. Here, hold on. This is, since we're editing it out, then all of a sudden I'll just say... <laughs> oh my. I thought that was one of Veronica's questions, actually. Oh, okay, there you go. Right. You're like over there with Veronica. Something tells me that's going to end up in the episode anyway, and I'm going to regret having done that. All right, so here though goes. The uh, dragonette asked the question, and it is answered by the three dragons in succession. Dragonette Veronica, what is your first question? If you could participate in Star Wars cosplay with me, who would you be and who would I portray? May the force be with you. <laughs> Dragon number one. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna have to go with Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a crotchless robe, people. <laughs> you can be Princess Leia, but you gotta keep the blindfold on. So. <laughs> Dragon number two. Uh, I would definitely want to be the Sarlacc Pit. <laughs> and, uh, would, would, would that would, be a reference to the I tongue? I would digest you for a thousand years. <laughs> and dragons number three. I would like to be Boba Fett because, you know, he's awesome, even though he ended up in the friggin' Sarlacc Pit. <laughs> he lives on in fanfic and in the written universe. It's great. <laughs> All right, not bad. All right, Brock. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. Yeah, nobody uh, said, except for uh, Dragon Number One, who Veronica would be. Uh, Dragon Number Three? I can handle that, man. Go ahead. Uh, I think I'd be uh, R5-D4, because he's the unsung hero of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I would pretty much like you to dress up like Salacious Crumb and just give me a little laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and bad. crawl around. <laughs> Lots of laughs. <laughs> uh, Lots of planning. <laughs> Dragonette, uh, who impressed you the most? Dragon number two. Oh, I think we're seeing some dragon chemistry brewing. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Uh, and here we go. This is question number two. This is very special because it's one of my favorite karaoke artists. Meatloaf teaches us that he would do anything for love, but he won't do that. What is that? Let's start with the leader in the clubhouse, dragon number two. 
Oh, uh, that's uh, you. <laughs> I, I, uh, the thing that I won't do is uh, listen to Meatloaf. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dragons number three. He won't do dishes or windows, neither. <laughs> it's not in his contract. <laughs> Anything to add, Dragon number three? <laughs> uh, he'd skip through the line of the self checkout and just make the <laughs> noise and steal the shit. <laughs> And, last but not least, <laughs> dragon number one. Uh, does uh, the dragonette have a sister? Because oh. if you do, I won't do that unless it's all in the family, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, this was a tough one, but I'll have to say Dragon 3 Part 2. <laughs> wow, Dragon 3 Part 2. I didn't, I didn't count on fractions. <laughs> it's Dragon Con. Keep up with the math. So, all right, it looks like we have a pretty spread out field so far. Maybe mm. question number three can give us a clear victor. Dragonette? Colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> From the glens of the Shire to the floor of the Tardy, if you had the chance Tardis, to Tardis. take Tardis, sorry, I'm sorry, Tardis. Tardis. I knew that. I was trying to do the act. No, I know what a Tardis is. I was trying to do the Shire accent. <laughs> Geek. I went on the dragon and the dude just walked off the set. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. I was trying to do the show. I was trying to love with you for 10 years, Tardy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. Uh, one more time. All right. From the glens of the Shire to the floor of the TARDIS. If you had the chance to take me, oh, to take to any side, did you mean me what to take me? Like Man, <laughs> Justin, come here. If you had the chance to take me to any sci-fi or fantasy locale, where would you take me to make Whoopi? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The utter disappointment in her voice as that came out was delicious. <laughs> We begin <laughs> with dragon number three, part one. Hmm. I like that volcano world at the end of episode three. <laughs> because, you know, Obi-Wan has a high ground and stuff. <laughs> dragon number three, part two. You and me would be on the set of THX 1138 because it'd just be you, me, and a whole bunch of white nothing. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Well received with the audience. Dragon number one. I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, Star Wars universe and that that garbage pit that they were all. <laughs> what? Because there's a lot of wiggling wetness going on in there before we even arrive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a big old pit full of lubrication. Oh my God. <laughs> there. There's no chafing downtown, sister. No, no. And nothing says romance like a hard deadline. <laughs> Dragon number two. Uh, I, would, I would go to the Lord of the Rings universe, and I would, you know, where the hobbits live, I'd take you back to the Sheer. <laughs> Dragon number two. Still butter. Uh, Dragonette, who did you like the best? All right, well, even though we may have our issues, I'm going to go with dragon number two oh! on that one. Oh! Um, yes. All right. Well, I think we have our winner. Uh, dragon number one, dragons number three. 
Uh, please, you have lost. Thank you. Uh, you hold on, we got, we got some special instructions yes. for you. D-D-F-O! There you go. Dragonette, please turn around and meet your dragon. <laughs> Guys, let's have a huge round of applause for Scott Sigler, George Robb, and I don't know which one of you is which because we're meeting for the first time. You are Kyle e. Bear. Hey, there we go. Make noise. And I'm Mike McFarland. There you go. Go nuts for these guys. Thanks to all the dragons for helping us out. All right, guys, we do have to take one quick moment. Uh, we got to pay one more bill. Uh, here we go. Take a listen to this. Here we go. Justin Robert Jung for NSFW. Do you want maximum no spam? Are you tired of having minimum no spam? Welcome to MailRoute.info. You're going to get maximum no spam. But being a sissy, we want maximum no spam for you at MailRoute.info. You don't want it all up in your face yelling at you like some sort of deranged homeless person. No, MailRoute.info. You can edit your MX record, then you are taking it to the max. You're going to get maximum no spam. MailRoute.info. Thomas, where is my pen, please? Yeah, stop emailing me, mother. MailRoute.info. Try maximum no spam exercises like the quiet inbox. <laughs> MailRoute.info Quit being a sissy MailRoute.info It sticks a stick of dynamite in Spam's mouth and throws it off a bridge and watches it explode. <laughs> Trademark. All right. Uh... Hey, I, I actually, uh, I know that we're, we're, we're about to wrap things up here, but there's actually one thing that I did not share with you guys last night. Uh, wh who's, the, who's the gentleman, uh, I, and I'm, I'm sorry, spacing on the name, who's the gentleman who showed this to me last night? The greatest invention of all history. And what was your name again? Michael Albus. Mi Michael what? Albus. Albus? Like Dumbledore. Dumbledore yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, like Elvis Dumbledore. Yes. <laughs> My good old Elvis Dumbledore. Albus has left the building. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. Check this out. This is chocolate whipped cream infused with booze. It, it says right on there, it says alcohol infused. Um, I say to take us out, look, we're about to have our music guest to wrap up our uh, summer music series, but I just say, bingo! Wait, hold on, who actually got bingo? <laughs> Get it on camera. Get it on camera. All right, here we go. It's back to mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, I got some on my blue dress. All right. Can I ask what the point of that was? I'm just saying this is awesome. And it was definitely handed to me seconds before the show. <laughs> and there was no way you were going to put such a novel way to drink booze in my hands and not have me take three minutes to sing its praises. So what you're telling me is somebody handed you a pressurized can. You yes. looked at it and said, of course, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah, have to close the show. Uh, but seriously, why did, you, why did you explode it all over yourself? <laughs> I didn't ex I was That's choking what she said. on... <laughs> I almost turned into a hazing instant. I know. <laughs> kind, of, kind of did. It's All right, so uh, let me just, to look at. I'll tell you what. Is is it is it as trouble? Is it as hard to do as as Justin makes it out, Tom? Well, he's doing it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 hey, listen I'm, up, I'm, chocolate I'm, doctor. Give yourself a rest. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a deleted scene in <laughs> the Eleventh Doctor where he gets tried, the Tardis ends up at a scat party. He'd be the Tardy. <laughs> The way Justin writes it, it's tardy. <laughs> no, I was trying to do my 
Shire accent and it turned out horribly horribly. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. You mean your sheer accent? The sheer, the sheer. sheer. Accent. <laughs> What I love is that there are 400 people in this packed room right now, and not one of you assholes came up with a napkin for him. <laughs> what is that? All right. Uh, uh, yeah, what do you think? Okay, that's not oh, probably that the look. Oh, come yes. on. Really? Really? Oh, that's good. You think it's good? Oh, yeah. Have some more. I think it's good. It looks like poop. <laughs> it, really it does, really it does look like, like poop. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're shouting it comes in vanilla like that makes it any better. Vanilla poo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look, um, uh, here's the thing. We, uh, we've got time for one more. You guys want to hear one more song from George Robb? <laughs> Let's set up the mics over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a moment to plug some stuff here. Uh, we'll set up, while you're setting up the mics, we'll do plugs here. Uh, first of all, Veronica Belmont. Where can people hear more Veronica Belmont? Um, I'm on Texilla every week at Texilla.com, Core on the PlayStation Network, and uh, Twitter at Veronica. And Sword and Laser, SwordandLaser.com. Yeah. That was almost awkward. Uh, Tomas Marie. How come you people don't watch Frame Rate? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Frame Rate is an awesome show. Now it did get awkward. <laughs> Go freaking watch it. Now. Leave like, the room. Go get an iPad. Thank you, sir. Captain America Zombie. Yeah, no, frame rate. Twit.tv slash FR. I, you know, I say that because I don't spend enough time promoting it. We need, we need to, uh, you, you know. got bigger fish than your yeah. little horse apples podcast where you and I talk movies, TV, and viral videos. Yeah. There's, there's okay, no look, you're not helping that. by shouting the name Other. of the bigger project that I'm trying not to Also tech news today, of course. All right. Every day. Uh, of course, Justin. Yeah, uh, here's the deal. Uh, the only thing that I want you guys to do is... is send him wipes. For yes, his face. Is, uh, please reimburse me for this coat, Brian. <laughs> um, now, uh, the novelization or the podcast version of Public Enemy Zero by Andrew Main. I know there's a bunch of people that downloaded it, right? Do you like it? Hey, I, did but full, I did the full audiobook version, and the best thing is you can get it for free. The podcast is up on iTunes. Just go subscribe to it. Hey, and you will get real quick, can we give a minor spoiler that is awesome and of interest to the people here at Dragon Con? Well, if you've, read, if, if you've read the book and you know how it ends, then we took pictures of that ending. Actually happening. Actually happening. So here at Dragon Con. Spoiler. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Uh, dude, and then that's it for this episode. And also, watch Frame Rate, for God's sake. We're going to make them cry. Uh, let's take it away. Let's go ahead and set up microphones uh, for one George Robb. Everyone make some noise. Hey. Oh, 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 yes. All right, I need your help. Nice. Just the white people. <laughs> Why? Why? 
My name is George Robb. Thank you so much. NSFW is over. George Robb! Ladies and gentlemen, George Robb. Fantastic. I, 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 hold on. I, I, Justin, uh, look, here's the thing. I, uh, we're I got, done. I mean, he played. Well, we're done. No, I, I know, I know, I know. But, but... Uh, we had, all right, listen. Wait, yeah, okay, I did not, let me just say this. We've been doing the Summer Music Series all the time, and, and obviously George Robb came on the show, and he rocked it, right? And he yes. rocked it again, but I didn't want to end on a repeat, right? I wanted it to be something different. I wanted to be, I wanted to end the whole Summer Music Series with somebody who, who would just be different. Like, what is, what, what is, <laughs> wow! This is not real. Now he just tripped, uh, but he's, he's got two spoons. World famous blues musician, Old John Smokey. Uh, wow! With his world famous spoons. Uh, now here's uh, it's, it's very hard to see you with a shaky camera. Uh, but uh, I'm sorry. TSA took my spoons. John, I'm sorry. I I I think it's delightful that. That you showed up and all, but I mean, I was just. Let I, him play. You wanna? No. Let him play. Uh, Let him uh, play. Uh, Let him play. <laughs> Let him play. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is really, it is my personal honor to introduce Old John Smokey and his world famous foods. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, we're getting sorry, word now. No, um, no, um, no, no, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. We have a hard out. So, we have to end the show. I'm okay, sorry. No, that's it. My apologies, old John Smoking. All right, it's Robert Dragon Guard, I love you! Take care, guys. Die in the fire! I, I just want to say on a very personal note, this is our Super Bowl every year. We want Dragon Con to be our biggest event every single time. We love this convention and nothing else like it. Thank you all for coming. We will see you next year. See you next Tuesday, people. Hey guys, uh, don't forget there is uh, there is Diamond Club T-shirts that we have in the back. We'll be happy to sign those for you guys. For those of you guys who don't know, Diamond Club's just our, our way of saying you know fans of the show. Uh, you can see it's got uh, well, I'm not even wearing one. That's how dumb I am. But uh, but we'll be back there. We'll take pictures, and hang out with you guys. Thanks again. Love you. Try to fire. It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW 
the show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you Oh, NSFW